Welcome to the evening Bible study. If you have the Bible, look at the Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 15. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 15. I can read for you. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may not, so you may eat fruit. Uh, from the tree in the garden, but God did say you must not eat the fruit from the tree that is the, the middle of the garden. You must not touch it or will die. You will not surely die, the servant said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eyes, and so desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. And she also gave some to the, her husband. And then who was with her, at, he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized they were naked. So they swelled the thick leaves together, and they made the covering for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was working in the uh, in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hide from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked, so I hide. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I command you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The servant deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the servant, Because you have done this, cursed you are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers, and he will crush your head, and you will strike his heels. Yeah, this evening I would like to share with you, blame spirit is evil spirit. Unfortunately, people, they blame one another. I'm telling you, when somebody committed sins, they blame one another. And then the way of sin is the death. Our first Adam and then committed the sins with his wife. And if you look at the verse 6, when the woman saw the fruit of a tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. You can see that there is a lust of eyes and lust of flesh and proud of life. You can see these things. Because Satan encouraged them, and God knows, and then, you know, you can eat, you shall not die. Satan is the father of lies, father of all lies. Do you know, therefore, when the Satan working, and then, then where if you open your heart, and the Satan coming, and then yeah, Satan deceive you. Therefore, you need to shut your heart to Satan, but open your heart to Jesus. And then you can see the blame spirit, verse 12. God asked Adam, why you eat? Do you know what the Adam said? Verse 12, the man Adam said, The woman you put here with me. He can you imagine you with God? You, God, put here with me. You gave me this woman. He blamed God. You gave me. I didn't ask for my wife, but you gave me. He blamed God. And she gave me some fruit from three and I ate it. You see, Adam, he blamed God and blamed his wife. When Adam and Eve committed sins, suddenly something happened in their eyes, in their heart. They are so shame and naked. And then most important things happening, they blame to each other. Not only each other, they blame God. And you can see the first Adam, he blamed God the woman you put here with me, you gave me this woman. 
you, you are a responsible. Why you gave me this woman? Can you imagine? He he tried to depend for himself. He he deny I I I don't made a mistake. You gave me this woman, and she gave me. Therefore, I'm not alone. That kind of attitude. Can you imagine? Adam blamed God and blamed his wife Eve. And verse thirteen again, God asked the woman Eve, "What is this you have done?" The woman answered, "You know, Adam's wife Eve answered." The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Do you know she's problem is I just eat. I ate, but do you know, do you know she is she is the responsible person not to eat, not to touch. But do you know what she said? She blamed say say serpent. The snake deceived me. The serpent deceived me. I just ate. Can you imagine? Adam blamed God and blamed his wife. And Eve blamed the snake. God didn't ask the snake, the serpent, why you did, but she just got cursed the snake. So the God said to the serpent, "Because you have done this, God is a gracious God. God asked the Adam, and God asked the Eve, but God didn't ask the the serpent. He just cursed. And then the curse are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals." You will crawl on your belly, that kind of a curse, and you will eat uh, dust all the days of your life. God cursed the servant. Can you see, Adam blamed God and blamed his wife. Eve blamed the servant. A servant is cannot blame anybody. You know, Satan is using the serpent, snake, and then then tempted. And then this is uh, this is uh, the blame spirit. When Adam and Eve committed the sins,、uh, one thing they get is they get the blame spirit. They blame others. Before sin came to this world, they don't blame. They love one another. They bless one another. They worshiping God, and wonderful unity and harmony. What was happening when the sin come? You know, when you see the blame spirit, blame spirit means division spirit. You saw that. Adam blame his wife, which means. There's a division between Adam and Eve. When the blame spirit moving and working in your house, there is no unity at all. Blame spirit is an evil spirit, is a division spirit. When Satan working powerfully, they blame one another. When the Holy Spirit working powerfully, they love one another, pray for one another. There's amazing unity, amazing. In a unity in Christ Jesus, when the Holy Spirit working powerfully, you know, God doesn't like the this blame spirit. When the, the people of Israel come out from Egypt, do you know what was happening? They looking for some water and food, but they didn't see proper water and food in the desert. And they blame Moses, Aaron, and God. Three, can you see that? They blame the leaders of Israelite. Moses and Aaron, they blame God. Look, Numbers chapter fourteen, Numbers chapter fourteen, verse one to three. That night, all the people of the community raised their voice and wept aloud. You know, people of Israel they cry out loudly. Why? And look, verse two. All the Israelites grumbled against the Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them. If only we had died in Egypt or in this desert. And they blame Moses and Aaron. Verse two and verse three, they blame God. Why is the Lord bring us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to be back to Egypt? They blame God. You see. When people commit the sins, automatically they get the blame spirit to blame somebody, blame leader, blame God. Please don't blame. That's different. They're telling the truth, and then there's a blame spirit. You know, I can discern what is a blame spirit. Look at the same chapter, Numbers chapter fourteen, verse twenty-six to thirty. And when God heard the blame, the grumbling against the. God and Moses are on. Do you know what God hear? When God hear and God speak like this, 
Numbers chapter 14, verse 26, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked community grumble against me? You see, what God says, when some people, they are grumbling against God and against Moses, this is, God s a y wicked community. Wicked, very wicked, very wicked community. Wicked people. I have heard a complaint of this grumble, of grumbling、uh, Israelite. Do you know, blame spirit and complain spirit, same evil spirit. Complain to God, complain to Moses and Aaron. Verse 28. So tell them, as surely as I live, declares the Lord, I will do to you the very things I heard you say. You know what people of Israel say? We're going to die, you're going to die. We will die in desert. And God is here. Okay, you'll die. Okay, I'll help you to die. You know, they died in where? In the wilderness. Verse 29. And then, in this desert, your bodies will fall. Every one of you, 20 years old or more, who was counted in the s e n s u s and who has grumbled against me. You see? Anybody grumble against me, especially Almighty God, you shall die in the desert, though you are over 20 years old. Everyone died. Verse 30. Not one of you will enter the land. I will s w o r e with an uplifted hand to make your home, except Caleb, son of、uh, Chaplain, and Joshua, son of Nun. These two people over 20 years old. Caleb and Joshua will enter the promised land. But unfortunately, anybody who are over 20 years old, especially who are grumbling against God and complain to God and then blame to God and Moses and Aaron, they shall die in the desert. You know, when the Satan is working, Satan encourages the people to complain, blame. The blame spirit is the evil spirit. We have to stop to blame somebody. You know, it's easy to blame somebody. You know, if you're uncomfortable, you blame the weather, you blame your car, you blame your, your neighbor, you blame in any circumstance. Stop blame. But telling the truth is very, very important. The blame spirit is an evil spirit. Blame spirit is a division spirit. Stop blame from now on. And then you telling the truth. You know, when, the,、um, when the Elijah, Elijah heard about the King Ahab and then his wife Jezebel, they supported for you know, idol worshippers. You know, you know, these idol worshippers, you know, Baal worshippers, and、uh, Asherah worshippers. In total, 850 idol worshippers. They get the great e s t support by King Ahab and his wife Jezebel. What Elijah did, Elijah not blame the King Ahab and then the, the, all these people, all these idol worshippers. Elijah telling the truth. Do you know what Elijah s a y As you God surely live and you shall die. He telling the truth. You shall know the truth, truth set you free. That's different. You can discern what is the, the blame spirit, what is the telling the truth. You know, I'm a pastor in the church, i telling the truth. When somebody listens to what I'm saying and u n d e r s t a n d what I'm saying, they understand the word of the truth and set them free from all the darkness. It's very important. We shall tell the truth. John chapter 8, verse 32. We shall know the truth, the truth set you free.、Yeah. God wants to set us free. But please stop to blame one another. If you blame one another, both of you, if you blame one another, both of you, so be careful even. You can fall and then sometimes go to hell. It's very dangerous. Adam and Eve, both of them, they committed sins. When the sin comes into their heart, one spirit comes into their heart, blame spirit comes upon them. Adam, Adam blamed God. You gave me this woman, Eve. And this woman gave me this fruit. Therefore, I just, just, I just eat. Can you imagine 
he he just want to clarify I'm innocent. You give me this woman, therefore your problem. This woman gave me the, this woman's problem. You see, Adam blamed God and blamed uh, his wife, and his wife blamed the serpent. This snake gave me, I mean, deceiving me. I just eat. She blamed. This is the main problem of the whole world. They blame one another. That is why you know, all the lawyers and solicitors and prosecutors working very hard in the whole of the world. You know, it's a, this is a situation all the world. When the sin comes, blame spirit coming. When the blame spirit coming, the blame spirit is an evil spirit. You need to kick out the evil spirit, blame spirit from your life. If you're kicking out the blame spirit from your life, you have the amazing peace in your life. And then um, blame spirit is a division spirit. And then you need kicking out. You know, Adam, he should be uh, responsible to protect his wife. He should be uh, responsible to against the sins and then kicking out uh, this temptation of evil one. But, you know, unfortunately, he didn't be uh, responsible. He just blamed his wife. His wife blamed the you know, serpent. This is happening whole world now. Therefore, we need to wake up. If the blame spirit comes into your mind, kick him out. Because the blame spirit is the evil spirit. When Israelite blame Moses, Aaron, and God, and God you know, killed all these people. God hated this blame spirit. You know, when people commit the sins, automatically they get the blame spirit to blame somebody. Stop it in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you guys. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, we stop to blame anymore. In the name of Lord Jesus of Nazareth, when Adam committed the sins and Eve committed the sins, Adam blamed God and blamed his wife. And even his wife blamed the uh, snake. And uh, we know that the uh, people of Israel blame Moses and Aaron and blame God. And um, that is sin. And, uh, oh Lord, help us to remove all the blame spirit from us, which is evil spirit. In the name of Lord Jesus, another help us, uh, don't commit the sins. Deliver us from the temptation of an evil one. Father, protect us from all the dangers and darkness. And purify our heart and cleanse our heart. We are so sorry because uh, we, we committed the sins several times. Oh, our terrible sins are blame and God blame somebody. Lord, forgive all our sins. Lord, deliver us. In Jesus' name we, we pray. Amen. Amen. May God give on us the grace to overcome the blame spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching. Bye now.